and I forgot to recharge the impact. What? I was able to remove them. They're not too tight. Yep, these are my brand new um, Goodyear, what do they call them? Ava, Avia, Ava, what do they call them? E Viva, I'm sorry, Viva 3, all season. All right, as I was saying, because the left rear tire was the 215, it had the right front tire, the exact opposite of it, sitting up. That little bit of difference from 225 to 215 had the right front wheel sitting up in the air a little bit. And when I hit a bump, the strip would bottom out. Well, top out, brother. And uh, now that I got tires on the back the exact same size, I'm not having that problem anymore. So, I got to call and apologize to this guy. And I got to return this strip because I don't need it. Ain't that a bitch. I was thinking about trying to make it up to the guy by paying the shipping or whatever. Well, I'm going to have to pay the shipping. Well, actually, I don't think I had to pay the shipping sending it back. But um, I just tell him, you know, charge me for the shipping or whatever. Before I go through all the problems of um, putting the rotors on, I need to make sure they sent me the right rotors. when you don't want them to. God damn it, I'm trying not to. You put enough grease on it. Let's see where it fit. like it'll fit. Hi Tubes right here. I had planned to videotape this but my friend called me and she wanted to talk so I talked to her. Alright the first thing I did was okay what I'm doing is I'm changing the brake pads and the rotors. Uh, the rotors look pretty good but I believe they work. And I believe that because um the car kind of shake when I put on brake and it's not really the steering wheel that's shaking. Um, they, I mean, they look, you know, like normal rollers, nothing special about them. Uh, but the pads are worn down very badly, and you will see. All right, this is a 12 millimeter bolt. It comes out right, right here. Right here. And as you can see, somebody put Loctite. Um, now what I got to do now is I got to lift this brake caliper, okay? found down online, there's no screw here. This just swings up. But you can't swing up that far because the parking brake and crap gets in your way right here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Alright, let me see, can I spread the brakes apart? Oh yeah, that's right, can't spread the brake apart. I took my screwdriver and just spread this open. Alright, that's about much you can move because it hits that part right there. But that is enough to, uh, I can't slide it off because put the key when I lift it up, oh, I guess I can slide it off. Something hits. 
Well, anyway. Oh, no, it won't. I don't know why it won't slide off. I mean, it don't seem like nothing hit me. I guess it's this part right here. I don't know what's up with this part right here. It's corroded or something. Okay. All right, now they talk about this. All right, they talk about this piston right here. You can't push it in with a normal um, C clamp or brake pusher in the thing. So I decided there's a special tool you can buy that will sit in here. But I seen a guy use a pair of needle nose and turn it. So that's what I'm gonna to try to do now. Hey y'all, I was able to turn it. Yeah, I'm able to turn it. It's not too hard. That time of the year, pollen is falling everywhere. By the way, I've never worked on a caliper like this before. I seen a friend of mine, uh, I think it was an RX-7, like an 83, 84, 85 RX-7, some years ago. But it's going in. I hope you can, hope you can see the video. I hope you can see it on video or whatever. It is going in. It's not too hard to turn either. Now some people claim, you know, I've said this before in several videos, some people claim that you can't let the caliber hang because the brake line will be stressed and you'll mess with the brake line. Brake lines are a lot tougher than people think. But like always, it's going to be in my way if I don't tie it up. So that's the reason I'm tying it up, not that I'm worried about the brake line. It's not going to stay there. I got a feeling it's not going to stay there. All right. Here's one of my brake pads. As you can see, it's worn down pretty bad. By the way, I ordered some brake pads online, and they sent me the wrong brake pads again. Again, they sent me the wrong brake pads. And I will show you. All right, too. These are the brake pads they sent me. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference. Apparently, I mean, I made damn well sure I put in brake, I mean, base Cadillac DeVille, regular two door. It didn't ask me whether it was a five lug or eight lug, it just asked was it a base two, I mean, base DHL, what do you call that, in the DTS. I put base. But uh, I think these are for. I don't know either the high performance one or the limousine. I don't know which one. All I know they don't fit. So I went to O'Reilly and got my ceramic Wagners. I would prefer semi-metallic, but it's the only one they had. And I believe these are the, the right pads here. And, but can't put the pads on now. I gotta take this damn um, caliper bracket off to um, get the rotors off. And I believe these are the original rotors because they got these little clips to keep them on. I think these are the original rotors. So um, I guess I gotta take the bracket off. Somebody said it was a 15 millimeter. And we're gonna try. My regular ratchet first, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna be tight. Where is the damn boat? Oh. By the way, the boat is one right there, and the other one is at the bottom. Alright, bye. Now I see why the guy used the wrench. Oh, I knew it. 
Well, I mean, I don't blame him for putting this bolt on tight. This is the bolt to hold the, the actual brakes. Watch that caliper fall on me. Okay, is that loose enough to use my electric ratchet? Let's find out. Oh, almost. And it is charged. It's because they put Loctite on it. All right, let's see if we can get the bottom one. I am trying not to uh, hurt my hand on this here jack. I mean, not jack, but um, what do they call this damn thing? Stand, jack stand. Why is this thing moving? It's not supposed to move. I guess because I unlocked it when I hit up against the side here. Yep, they put that good old Loctite. Always gotta put Loctite on everything. That's also the reason why I can't I don't think I can use that electric. I don't think I can, cause it's um that Loctite has got it still, still got resistance on it. We'll try it. Stand Loctite. Freaking idiot ass people put it on everything. Stuff they don't need. this off all right this is the other brake pad this um correct up here there. not too much difference not too much difference between the two yeah, about the same Alright, now we gotta figure out how to get this off. I understand why they put this on. They, they put this on because when they are um, in the factory, they don't want the rollers to fall off. Not even those, but pliers. Man, it works. Y'all see that? Just take the pliers, put it on, and pull it off. And we got rotor off. I'm so glad it's not the parking brake in the hat thing. All right, so we're gonna put my new rotors on. Hopefully I actually need them. 
bearing is tight. Doesn't seem to be loose. So I just need to um, clean the oil off the new rotor and put it on. I'm sure y'all know how to clean oil off the rotor. So I'm going to stop the video and, um, well, I guess I can show y'all if you want to see.